All right, so SP 5.3, a um, little different than the SP 5. You can actually go to between the different MIG modes with the mode button. So right now we're in pulse. If I hit the mode button, it goes to MMA, TIG, manual mode, which basically you set the wire speed and the welding current all together. Then we have synergy, which would use for steel or silicone bronze. And then we're in pulse mode. There's a couple different um, settings we can adjust on this welder. Uh, mostly you're going to adjust in pulse mode and synergy mode. You don't adjust the wire speed anymore. We just adjust the thickness with this knob right here, the left hand knob now. The right hand knob adjusts the, ba the ba balance voltage. Basically it adjusts the arc length of the weld. So the higher the voltage, the wider and flatter your weld is going to be. If we go negative on voltage, it's a narrower, taller bead. And it has nothing to do with weld penetration. It is simply for visual of the weld. Uh, right here we got the weld program 5554 1.2 with the argon gas. Basically all we adjust here is that. So it shows we're in T1, which would be torch one, instead of the, the big number one in the center of the screen for the SP1 or the SP2, it actually says T1 up in the top. If we want to switch between the torches, we do that again with the triggers of the torches. <clears throat> We're also in 2T mode. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the setup menu. Setup menu, we can adjust our 2T to 4T to spot time, and then also pause work mode. We'll get into those a little bit later. Um, in normal weld mode, all we can adjust is pre-gas, the burn back time, and the post-gas. If we adjust it to full mode, now we can do pre-gas, hot start percentage, hot start voltage, hot start time, hot start slope, crater slope, crater percentage, crater voltage, and burn back time and post gas. A little bit about each one of these. The pre-gas, when we pull, when, is the, basically the time when we pull the trigger before the wire actually starts feeding, gas will be flowing. So if I set this at one second, if I pull the trigger on the torch, Wire won't feed for one second, but gas will be flowing automatically. And so after one second, welding will start. Hot start percentage is actually percentage of welding amperage or welding current above your normal welding current. So let's say we are welding at 100 amps. This would be 155 amps that would be actually welding at for the amount of time that we have set the hot start time for. The hot start time is based on, um, not based on, but in 2T mode, it's, the hot start will actually run for the amount of time set in this right now. If we were in 4T mode, the hot start time would actually be the, the length of time we actually hold that trigger down before we release it in the 4T mode. The hot start slope is the time that it takes for uh, the hot start to gradually go down to our normal welding current. You can kind of see the graph here. So this is our normal welding current, hot start, and then this is the crater fill. Crater slope. Back up here. Crater slope is the time it takes for it to get from normal welding current down to the crater fill. The crater percentage is a percentage below our normal welding current. So that would be 40%. It's actually 40% of the welding current. So if we are welding at 100 amps, that would be 40 amps during the, the welding, uh, the crater filled time. And the crater voltage is the same as balance voltage. Uh, it's, it's basically a visual aspect of your weld. So you can, if you wanted a, a narrower, taller bead, we would go negative 
in the crater fill. Burn back time is actually the time, the, the amount of stick out on the wire as, you're at get done, as you get done welding. Post gas time is the amount of gas, the time that the gas is flowing after we stop welding. So one second, it was set for one second, it actually will flow for one second after we're done welding. So we'll push the setup menu again. Now we get to the double pulse or wire pulse. Um, this is actually a, a pulsing of the wire as we're welding in pulse mode. So what we can adjust here is our low level percentage. Right now it's set at 75%. And this is, if you, again, if we use 100 amps, this is our normal welding current, and this one would be our low level during the pulse. So we set it at 75%, so the, the high pulse would be at 100 amps, the low pulse would be at 75 amps, and it, as it goes, and it, it pulses for these amount of time. So the high time would be set at 0.2, the low time is set at 0.2, and we typically have these set at the same time, um, whether you know 0.2 or 0.3 or somewhere in that range. Um, low level voltage, again, is the arc distance during the low level time. So for 0.2 seconds, we want to flatten out that weld a little bit. We can increase that, or if we want to make it narrower and taller on the low end, we can actually push it negative. We typically have the low time and the high time the same, just so you get a nice even look of the weld, so it's not staggered on the highs and the lows. Um, so this is an example of a double pulse. So you can see, um, I've got a pen. Sorry, thank you. <laughs> so as you can see, each one of these, the higher low, you see the, the ridges here, the higher low, the, the high side is your high time your low side is your low time. So to have this look nice and even, you want to have it, um, you want to keep these numbers pretty much the same. So if we wanted to flatten out the low section here, we can go a little higher on the voltage for the low time. So if we wanted to make these a little more distinct, we can actually lower this low level percentage and drop this down a little bit more. And it'd be a little more dramatic on our, the difference between the highs and the lows here because your welding amperage is actually lower during the low cycle. Okay, so to turn that on, just turn that on to get out of this menu. Go ahead and turn this off for one second here. So now this shows that we have the double pulse on, that symbol right there. Okay. So if we want to turn on the full mode. And now that shows that the full mode kind of a symbol of the hot start uh, and crater fill symbol right there. So now we're ready to weld. So again, we're not, we're actually adjusting wire speed like we did with the SP5. We basically adjust the welding current. And then you can see the wire speed is going up at the same time. So there's a hundred amps right there. So typically, when we're in a double pulse mode, we will typically raise this up a little bit higher than you would normally without double pulse mode. So let's say like on this weld right here, these are two and a half millimeter coupons. Um, I would probably set with double pulse off, I'd probably be around 2.5. So 2.5.
if I if when I'm in double pulse, I will pro personally I set it right around 2.8 or 2.9. You always want to go a little bit higher uh, amperage, welding amperage, when you are actually welding a double pulse because the power is going to be a little bit lower on that low side. <laughs> 